Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History. And although today is May 5th, I want to talk about an event that uh, concerns Texas history on May the 6th. Uh, I know it's a day ahead, but uh, it's one of those episodes that uh, I, I enjoy telling a story of. Now, it's a story of the, uh, the Texas Brigade at the Battle of the Wilderness. Uh, that, that happened uh, May the 6th, 1864. Now, uh, let me go ahead and give you a little bit of background. Uh, the wilderness is a part of uh, Virginia where uh, there were a lot of trees, a lot of underbrush, and it was not a very uh, easy place to do uh, any type of fighting. Hence, they called it the wilderness, you know. Uh, it was not a, you know, place filled with roads or open fields or things where you could maneuver men and um, fight with any ease. And uh, General Lee's army had been uh, fighting in the area for the past several days. Uh, you know, the Battle of the Wilderness uh, ties right in um, with um, the Battle of Chancellorsville. And uh, on the morning of the 6th, uh, the Yanks had uh, made a breakthrough and he needed some men to go in there and plug the hole. And uh, the folks that had been there uh, holding a line that were coming back and uh, he saw some more troops coming up the road. And uh, it was this, the lead unit in uh, Longstreet's division. And uh, on getting closer, it became apparent it was the Texas Brigade. Now, the Texas Brigade had been over uh, fighting uh, in Tennessee for a while, and they this is the first time that General Lee and the Texas Brigade saw each other uh, once again after they returned from Tennessee. And uh, they were happy with uh, each other. Um, and, and General Lee... Uh, expressed gratitude that it was his Texans, that uh, he uh, knew that he could count on them uh, to go in there and take care of the situation. You know, he could count on them uh, in a big way. And uh, when General Lee uh, appeared to want to go with them, you know, in terms of uh, going into the thick of the battle, the men said, you know, General Lee to the rear, General Lee to the rear. They refused to go forward until uh, General Lee was taken uh, to the rear. Um, they had a lot of regard for their commander, and one of uh, the men went ahead and took the horse by the reins and um, led him uh, on back to the back. And the Texas Brigade... Uh, went forward and they uh, fulfilled their position. Let's see, what was the exact quote? Uh, they uh, had told General Lee that they pledged that they would push the enemy back as long as he went back to the rear. And sure enough, they did that. And um, General Lee uh, commented that uh, Texans always move them. And um, then General Gregg, who was leading the Texas Brigade, went ahead and commented to the men, uh, you know, forward men, uh, the eyes of General Lee are upon you. Um, now, this episode, you know, resonates, and this is the episode that uh, served as inspiration for uh, that song at uh, the University of Texas. There's so much controversy about uh, but people never bother to take a look at the story or what's behind it. Um, and, and that whole episode, um, yeah, it, it says a lot about uh, bravery, courage, uh, manhood, the sense of duty, responsibility. Um, you just don't find that uh, these days. You don't hear many of those stories. But I always like the story. I always like telling it. 
I uh, hope you enjoy it. It's one of those uh, interesting um, tidbits of uh, Texas history not everyone knows about, uh, but should. So, until next time, this is Jeff Murrow uh, wishing you via con Dios, my friends. Goodbye.